Hello everybody and welcome back to LSPDFR. I am Irish Red and today we're going to be doing a patrol here in the Blaine County area. It's about 10 p.m. on a Sunday evening. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and uh, crawl into our Charger slit top that we're going to be driving today. We're going to be trying to stick around the Grapeseed Blaine, uh, sorry not Blaine County, but uh, Sandy Shores and Harmony area. We're also going to be calling into dispatch if we haven't already, which we have. We are already in service and ready to go. So without any further ado, guys, let's go ahead and get out here and see what the county has in store for us this evening. Unit one. Driver under the influence. Two seven seven dispatch. We can take that. So let's go ahead and uh, they're actually going to be back here. So we will see if we can come back across here and come back over to Sonora Way here and see if we can find that driver under the under the influence. So we will follow suit here. Yeah, watch out, camper. Yeah, they're going to be off, looks like, in the quarry area. So we will just kind of mosey on over there and see what we can come up with here. Chances are they're going to be all over the road. Oh, there they are. They're climbing up the side of the hill. That's totally legit yeah there they are up there now how in the hell are we supposed to get up there in a charger I have no idea so we'll just kind of try and you know come up here the best we can oh Jesus they're like flying back down the hill there they go oh Jesus all right, yeah, 277 dispatch, we got eyes on that sub subject. So let's go ahead, we got him blipped now. Let's see if we can get a play check on it. 277 dispatch, it's going to be a grand color intruder, 46 Edward Edward King, 572. Target license plate, four, six, Brandon Edward, Green. Edward King, 572, no 1099. Yeah, he's hopping on the freeway. Let's uh, try and stop him before he gets actually on the freeway here. That is not going to be a good place to pull over. All the way up to the side of the road, buddy. Let's see if we can not get him down here past the uh, inlet. It's just so that, you know, we're not holding up traffic so much. Come on, buddy, a little bit farther. Guess we could have waited to light him up, but that's okay. There we go, off to the right hand side here. And we'll just kinda, you know, hit the barrels. That works. 277 dispatch, uh, we are going to be on westbound US Route 13, just at the end of the on ramp. Going to be occupied times one time at this point in time. From what we can see, yeah. Show us making contact now. We got uh, this vehicle does not have uh, spotlight on it. So let's go ahead and uh, check this person out, see if they actually are driving under the influence. Uh, you notice an odor of narcotics. Good evening, uh, Sheriff Red with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. You got a uh, driver's license, proof of insurance, registration on you, buddy? You. you got your ID? Brandon Green. Alrighty, Mr. Green, go ahead and sit right there for me for a moment, and I'll be back with you. So it is him. So we'll come back here, and we will check it out in the computer system. There we go. He's been pulled over one time. He's not wanted. He's not a valid license. Let's go ahead and check the vehicle, make sure everything's good there. Valid, valid, yep, everything's good there. We're going to grab our breathalyzer and our Nick kit just to make sure that, you know, everything's on the up and up. Uh, 
Alrighty, sir, uh, here's all of your information back. Have we got reports of a vehicle matching your description with a possible uh, driver under the influence? Have you uh, had anything to drink recently? Yes, you've had a few. Alrighty, and also when I walked up here, I noticed a uh, smell of narcotics. Have you uh, done any legal drugs recently? Are you being detained? Well, at this point in time, yes, you are being uh, detained for the purpose of this traffic stop. So if you would, sir, I'm going to go ahead and issue you a couple of field sobriety tests here. First things first, I'm going to swab the inside of your mouth. And uh, if it turns blue, it's not going to be good. So, you know, just open up. Let me swab. Alrighty, sir. Thank you very much. And right here, this is telling me that you are positive for cannabis. I'm also going to have you blow into this little tube here. This is a standard breathalyzer. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, and stop. Alrighty, sir. Right now, I have you both driving under the influence of cannabis, and uh, you just blew a 0 0.120. Uh, the legal limit here in San Andreas is 0 0.08. So at this point in time, sir, I'm going to have to ask you to step out of the vehicle. Alrighty, sir, and if you would, please go ahead and... Stop! Police! Yeah, that works. Go ahead and uh, place your hands behind your back. You are currently being under placed under arrest for driving while under the influence. You have anything on you that's going to sit me, set me, put me, harm me in any way? It's best if you tell me now, buddy. So we'll give him a quick search. Pouch of tobacco and a postcard from Australia. Alrighty, buddy. Let's go ahead and hop in the uh, back of my vehicle here. Don't be a dick, just get in the car. Don't be a dick, just get in the car! Beautiful. Then we'll come up here and we will search his vehicle. Just make sure that there's nothing else in here that we need to be concerned about. Four grams of cocaine. Really? Well, that's interesting. Nothing of interest. A pair of panties and several cell phones in the trunk. All right. Well, then, two steps of dispatch. Can you roll me a additional... Uh... Disregard, roll me a tow truck for this vehicle. So there we go, we got a uh, tow truck coming down here for this vehicle. We're also going to get a prisoner transport after we write the arrest form for him. Let's go ahead and turn off our brights. We don't need those on anymore. So we'll come back in here. Yeah, Brandon Green, create an arrest report, charges, we are going to get him for reckless driving, we are also going to get him for leaving the scene of an accident, driving under the influence, possession of drugs, uh, it didn't say crack, but we're going to get him for possession of cocaine. And actually, can we add another? Let's see if we can, because actually it's going to be two separate accounts of driving under the influence. One driving under the influence of alcohol, the other one for driving under the influence of a uh, controlled substance. Oops. There we go, two accounts of driving under the influence. Perfect, that's what I wanted to see. There's nothing else in there, so we're going to go ahead and save and close that. Two steps of dispatch, could you roll me an additional for prisoner transport? Required. So we will get an additional down here. So that, uh, you know, they can pick his happy ass up. There they are. Hey, how's it going? So there we go, he is placed under arrest. Two steps of a dispatch, show us code for 10-8, resuming patrol. And that's going to be that. We're going to get back out here on the uh, streets. He has been taken care of and will be taking a trip down to county lockup for driving under the influence. Multiple, multiple accounts of it. Two accounts to be exact. 
So yeah, you know, the reports were accurate and we were able to at least get him off the streets. So let's go ahead and flip around here and we will hop back on the freeway. And I will see you guys on the next call out or stop. Excuse you. We just had this motorcycle come flying past us as we were slowing down for that truck. Now they are flying through here. It's a 60 mile an hour zone and we're having to do almost 90 just to catch up with them. Just have some dispatch. Could I get a play check? It is going to be on a red baddie 85 John Henry William 314. Target vehicle license plate, 8, Mark 5, Gilmore. John Henry, William, 3, 1, 4, and no 1099. no 1099, so let's go ahead and pull him over right here. Yeah, fuck, this is right, buddy. No, come on, how about you pull over to the side of the road? Now where the hell are you going? What the hell is up with this? 277 dispatch, they're taking off on me. Yeah, you. Pull over to the side of the road. See if we can't get him off to the side a little bit better here. There we go. Not exactly sure why they wanted to be such a moron, but no, over here. Hey, dipshit. What are you doing? Yeah, trying to control this motorcycle is like trying to catch water in a sieve. It is not working. There you go, all the way over to the side of the road. That works right there. Stop right there. Good lord. Alrighty, 277 dispatch. We are going to be westbound US Route 68 uh, near the Joshua Road interchange. I, I'm gonna be out with that red baddie. Stand by, make contact now. So let's go find out why he decided to go flying down through here. Evening Sheriff Red with the Blaine County Sheriff's Office. Have your registration, proof of insurance, right, and uh, driver's license on you, bud. Hey, you. You got your ID? Mark Delmore. All right, Mr. Delmore, go ahead and sit right there for me for a moment. I'll be right back. So let's go run his information real quick on a Mark Gilmore. Make sure that everything's on the up and up. Mark Gilmore, everything's valid. He's been stopped twice. Alrighty, let's check out the vehicle. The baddie, yep. Valid, valid. He is the RO. Everything's looking good there. We're going to go ahead and uh, write him a traffic citation. Oh, really? He already has previous. Leaving the scene of an accident, driving under the influence. Well, in this interesting, and he's got charges of carjacking. Well, let's go ahead and grab our handy dandy little breathalyzer and nit kit and uh, see if he's driving under the influence. Alrighty, Mr. Dillmore, a uh, couple of questions for you. Have you had anything to drink this evening? You don't, well, you know, technically you don't, but, uh, you know, it's better if you cooperate. Have you taken any drugs recently? Uh, yes, at this point in time, you are being detained for this traffic stop. I got a couple of field sobriety tests for you here. First off, I'm going to swab the inside of your mouth. And while we wait for that to uh, come back, if it's going to be blue, it, it's not going to be good for you. All right, everything checks out there. I'm also going to have you blow into this little tube here. It's just a standard breathalyzer. Keep blowing until I tell you to stop and stop. Alrighty, sir. Well, everything else checks out on you. However, you were going awfully fast. I thought you doing about 60 mile an hour. In our, I beg your pardon, 70 mile an hour in a 60 mile an hour zone. Uh, and you passed me and that uh, delivery truck at a fairly high rate of speed. Not exactly sure what that was about. So... Go ahead and sit right there. I'm going to double check everything and be right back. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and write him a citation. He's already been pulled over multiple times and he has a pretty decent rap sheet. 
So let's go ahead and go back into our computer here. And we will write him a citation. Traffic citation we are going to get him for. Really? Ah, there we go. Traffic citation. Perfect. It is going to be on a motorcycle. We are going to get him for speeding. We're going to get him uh, between 10 to 15 over. Over. There we go. And we are also going to get him for uh, improper passing. There we go. Perfect. Let's make sure those took. There we go. Speeding and proper passing. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to see. We will log out here. Alrighty, Mr. Dillmore, a couple of citations here for you. One for improper passing, one for speeding, 10 to 15 over. This is about a $300 fine. And there you go. There's your citation. You would go ahead and wait until I'm back in my vehicle before you take off. I would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Try to have a better night. So yeah, we didn't have anything else on him except he was driving like a bit of a moron. So we'll get back in our vehicle. He's going to take off. No muss, no fuss. Do some some dispatch. Uh, show us code 4108. And we will get back out here on the road and see what else they have in store for us this early evening. Traffic stop backup required. Yeah, we can take that. So let's go ahead and light up here. And we will go assist this officer with a uh, traffic stop backup. So not exactly sure what the issue is. Uh, come on, Regina, get out of the way. So we'll just kind of head down there, code two and find out exactly what's going on, why they're calling for backup. And there they are. So let's go ahead and we will flip around here, park up behind. Yeah, I already picked the door, get out of the way. There we go. Do some, some dispatch, show us on scene. And let's find out, uh, you know, why this guy was calling us for backup. Evening, buddy. What's the issue? Hey, glad you're here. There's an outstanding warrant for the registered owner. This person needs to be arrested. Who's going in for the arrest? You know what? I'll go ahead and do this. So uh, this felon's mine. I'll take the arrest. No problem. Grab our pistol. Driver, with your hands, reach out the window and slowly open the door. Police! Stop whatever the hell you're doing! Put your hands on your head, drop the weapon, get down on the ground. Do some sub dispatch got one at gunpoint. Let's see if we can't come over here and collect his weapon. There we go, we got it. And let's go ahead and whoa, excuse me. Freeze, buddy, freeze. Get our stun done. Come on. Get down on the ground. Down on the ground. I will tase your ass. I don't know why the hell you jumped up with a damn knife. Looks like we took a good stabbing. Two sub seven some dispatch. I need you to roll the EMS. We uh, got stabbed. Come here, jackass. What the hell's your problem? So we will, uh... Let the ambulance come down here to check us out. You got anything else that's gonna stick me, stab me, poke me, harm me in any way? Give him a quick search here and find out what else he has on him. Collection of car keys and a folder of building hey, blueprints. Route, come here, shithead. Get in the back of my car. <laughs> well, that's what you'd get. Yeah, get in there. Uh, the door opened up and he went flying five miles. That's great. That's what you get, you piece of shit. 
Well, let's jump up here and search his vehicle, see if there's anything else in here that we need to be worried about that we can write him up for. AJ Fox and in mast and nothing of interest, everything else. Do sub sub dispatch, should you roll me a uh, tow truck for this? Uh, what is this? For this cavalcade? Oh, that's not what we want. Come on, there we go. The uh, radio didn't want to show up. So let's get this cavalcade out of here. We got EMS just about on scene. Two subs have dispatch. Can you roll me additional for tr prisoner transport? Backup needed for so we'll get a uh, prisoner transport down here as well. Here comes the tow truck, the fire department, and the ambulance. So there's the tow truck picking up his vehicle. Here comes our prisoner transport to get him the hell out of here. And here comes the fire department EMS to check us out to make sure that, uh, you know, we're okay. Because, yeah, we did take a uh, pretty good stab. Yeah, how's it going, buddy? Yeah, we got stabbed pretty good. Hi, how's it going? Yeah, you're, I don't know, dude. I have no idea what the hell it was. Yeah, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Yeah, there it is. Perfect. So they're going to go ahead and clear off. This dude's going to sit here and blare his sirens for no apparent reason. We're going to call in to dispatch because he's out of our vehicle. Two sons of the dispatch show us code 4108. And we're going to go ahead and get out of this mess that is uh, the scene. And hopefully the uh, fire truck will be able to fit your life out. That's right, guys. There you go. You're, you're getting there. Keep keep flipping it around. There you go. Uh, stop jimmying the wheel around and just turn it hard left. There you go. I knew you could figure it out. You're smarter than you look. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, get back out here. And I will see you guys on the next call out and or stop or, you know, we'll take this dead body to sub seven dispatch. We can, uh, holy shit. I have no idea what that was about or what's going on. Looks like the dead body is going to be over here. So we'll set a waypoint so we can just flip around here with our lights on and head down here to this dead body. We have no idea what those explosions were just about. But then again, it is Sandy Shores in the middle of the night. Who knows? But right now we're responding down to a uh, dead body, possible dead body. We'll go ahead and roll EMS as soon as we get down here to make sure that the body actually is dead. Oh, don't need to be drifting off the side of the road there, Red. All right. They're not going to listen, so we'll let them pass. We'll turn on our high beams just to make sure that we don't run this body over in case they're not dead. All right, and we got some sort of blown up vehicle here, so we'll go ahead and hop out and rip them out of the vehicle. Two sub sub dispatch, can you roll me fire EMS down here? All units. Let's see if we can't uh, pull them out of the bot out of the vehicle here. No, no. Nope. Their uh, vehicle is towed, so we can't even pull them out. Two seven seven dispatch. Try to get a plate check. It's going to be on a yellow in color. Tempesta. Two six. Nora. Michael. Charlie. Seven one three. Nora, Mary, Charles, 713, no, 1099. Just Freeman, one citation, no flags or anything. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sit right here, wait for fire and EMS to show up. See if, uh, you know, hopefully they can't get them out of the vehicle safely and, you know, hopefully resuscitate them because they are definitely incapacitated. But it looks like it's going to take fire and EMS quite some time to get here because they're coming all the way from Sandy Shores and I'm not sure that they made it back to Sandy, Shore, Sandy Shores to reset after that last uh, 
you know, call out for them where we took a uh, knife to our gut, I'm assuming. Come on, Fire EMS, where you at? Good lord, they're taking the long way around. Why they didn't just come down Joshua, I don't know. They're going down Freddy Marina Drive. Or maybe not. Maybe they're, uh... Yeah, no, they're coming down Joshua. They're just taking their sweet-ass time. Is that, uh, the road there is actually going to be the road that runs along the railroad tracks, the dirt road. So it looks like fire is going to be the first on scene, as usual. Not exactly sure why the uh, fire is almost always the first ones on scene. It'd be nice to see, you know, the EMS show up a little bit quicker than the fire. But then again, when I call in for fire and EMS through the uh, better EMS script, I'm calling in just for a EMS a lot of times. But it ends up sending both, which is slightly annoying, especially when you only need an EMS and fire shows up. But it is what it is, I guess. So here comes the fire chart. They're almost on scene. And hopefully they'll be able to, you know, take care of this situation, get the uh, body out of there, make sure that, you know, hopefully it's... May Hopefully they'll be, you know, saved. That's all we can really hope for at this point in time. They definitely look to be a uh, Kellogg's post toasty at this point in time, but you never know. I've seen weirder shit happen. Come on, Chief. You can save her. I've got, uh, I've got faith in you. Go ahead and hop out here and just in case. Nope, they are a Kellogg's post toasty. Alright. 277 dispatch, yeah, we got uh, 1k. Go ahead and uh, roll me a corner down here. I'm also gonna need a tow truck for this vehicle as well. There we go. So we got tow truck underway. We got coroner on their way. Yeah, sorry, Chief. I'll get out your way. All right, well, coroner's already on scene. They took the uh, short way around. Oh, and there's the uh, tow truck. Excellent. Really, guys? You're going to be that way? Fine, we'll back up here and give the uh, fire truck plenty of room to, you know, Austin powers their asses out of here since they apparently don't have enough room to do it themselves. Come on, guys. Huh. There goes the coroner's door because the tow truck's like, yeah, screw you guys, you're taking forever. All right, come on, fire. Figure it out. Don't hit the coroner. Come on. There you go. Fine. Yeah, go the other way. It's not that difficult. There you go. Oh, good lord. All right, fine. We'll get out your way. We're just gonna run over the post. Call it good. Why not? You guys? Thank God. All right, 277 dispatch. Show us code 4108. And anyway, guys, that's actually going to do it for us for this episode. Uh, definitely interesting getting called all over the place for multiple different things so anyway if you like the video make sure you hit that thumbs up button it not only helps me out but it helps the channel out a lot if you're not already subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as the little bell icon next to the subscribe button to turn on your notifications that way you guys can be notified whenever new episodes come out and you can never miss one on top of which, you can also check me out over on social media, facebook.com backslash irishredgaming, or you can send me a tweet, at irishredgaming on Twitter. So, anyway guys, I hope you had an absolutely great day, and have a great day. As always, I will definitely talk to you in the next video. See ya.